before the NDIS, I lived a very restricted life and I didn't have any future at all. And now I have this future, I have this commitment from the government that I have a future. Daniel used to just sit on the lounge and watch movies all day. Um, since we've had the NDIS, um, it's great. We have support workers come in, help Daniel with his personal care, his life living skills, um, take him out for outings. I was kind of out of control. You know, not doing the right thing. So that's pulled my head in doing this. I go shopping as well every Friday. So that helps me out instead of eating nothing, you know. For the past two years, for my plan, as I mentioned, I'm very happy with that one. That's first, they let me to go out, return to the community. Then you have the support and you have the desire to do something. I'm the sort of person who intermittently is unwell and the rest of the time I'm all right. When I've become unwell, the package has been able to pay for a bit more support. Just having someone to help me with my housework, uh, I really want to get fit, and so I have someone walk with me two or three times a week, and it's, it's, that stuff kind of buoys me being well and enables me to do other stuff. Um, my NDIS plan helps with inclusion in that it um, allows me to participate in social and community activities a lot more. I have um, funding for a support person to come along and support me um, when I want to do something that might be challenging for me. Um, for instance, like I have a lot of trouble going into shopping centres um, so uh, or, and going to health appointments and so having someone with me means that I can go and do those things. It also means I've been able to um, engage a support person who is helping me um, participate participate in more creative endeavours. At the moment I'm able to um, have just applied to be part of the Melbourne International Comedy Festival for the first time and that is like the support that I've gotten through the NDIS means that I have a, a, a level of independence and a level of support to get that independence so that those types of things are possible for me now. But when I went home last year they given me $2,200 uh, to pay for the lady that support me in Philippines. Without NDIA, I would never have able to go home. When you sign the insurance policy, if you get the plan, this money, of course, we have a lot of people to look at. Some people to look at 语言治疗师呀，什么专业的人指导你，然后帮你去一些社交活动啊，是从你的精神方面，还有从你的一些身体方面来帮助你。Having an NDIS package means that we're no longer a charity case. We're not sort of waiting for the crumbs off the table to be thrown at us. We actually. Uh, have some control over it and we can actually get supports that we actually need. I asked for, I was really obese, I was morbidly obese and I asked for a, um, a dietitian and was turned down but because I was self-managing I was able to go to the mental health dietitian and say would you be my health mentor and I was able to pay him as a health mentor and so I have that weekly support and it's enabled me to totally change my way of eating and I've begun to lose weight and it's, yeah, it's great.